I hate playing Pokemon games because they make me feel like a baby. And I'm not a baby. In fact, I would say the person that's calling me a baby is the real baby. No, unfortunately, I'm a mighty kid. And as a result, I've been buying Pokemon game after Pokemon game, watching them sink lower and lower and wondering, when do I stop? When do I put my regular clothes back on, my money in my wallet, and tell Pokemon to go fleece some other loser? Only I never do. I always buy what comes next because I cannot help myself. And I feel great shame for it. Because ultimately, I'm propping up a franchise that probably deserves to die slash change in a big way. But what I didn't realize is there is another option. In fact, there are thousands of fans that feel just like me. People who have played Pokemon games and thought, oh, I can do better than this. And most of the time, that attitude leads to a series of egotistical made choices, highlighting personal favorite fake mons and outlandish story decisions, and just creating not great games in general, with several projects coming to mind that feel like black tank top films or Yandere dev simulator. But there are some absolutely amazing ones, some Pokemon games that are legitimately better than what Nintendo is making. And out of all these ROM hacks, I think Pokemon Unbound is probably the best one. It uses Fire Red as its base game, and I know what you're thinking. That's a very old game, and not even the one you can walk with your Pokemon with. This is horseshit. And I don't blame anyone for thinking that playing through Fire Red without the modern quality of life features of Pokemon would be an absolute slog. But you better believe the devs have put some of even the most recent Pokemon features in this game, including practical HM management management that removes the need for HM slaves, all without removing the fun of getting a new HM like in the new games. It has all the hallmarks of a classic Pokemon story. The Pokemon professor is called Log. How great is that? And the towns are cute, charming, and well-designed, just like they would be in a Game Freak game. The story is a bit over the top, and I blame Game Freak for making the story over the top because any Pokemon story is going to get over the top when they include a literal god in the form of a Pokemon. But I'm willing to look past that because it includes some really good changes as well, like making one of your starting Pokemon a choice of the dragons of that region. Because most starting Pokemon evolve between 16 to 20, and then again at 36 to 40. But the way the game's paced, you'll be pretty much done training your entire team by the time you get like your fourth badge. And then the excitement of seeing new evolutions kind of wears off. By giving the player character a starting Pokemon that evolves first at 30, and then again at 50, the pacing of the game changes completely, and the result is a real Pokemon game that feels like a breath of fresh air compared to what's currently going on with the series. And more than that, it's a game that doesn't treat me like a baby, and that's just rare these days. With the game standard here at Tibbs TV, I'm Jonathan Rosenblum.